Is stretched resolution still worth using in Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 3? Well, let's find out. When you do use a stretched resolution, you are actually using less pixels, which does result in more FPS and less input delay. In addition to that, with the lesser pixels, this also allows for a slightly stretched player model, given the look of a bigger hitbox that can significantly help with your aim and awareness. The only real downside to using the stretched res is the loss of FOV or field of view. You can see here what I'm talking about when you go from 1920 by 1080 down to a stretched resolution and this is more so depending on how stretched you actually go. But ultimately there's a reason why people are still using stretched resolution. There's really three main advantages and then only one disadvantage to be fair. You may be thinking now though what is the best stretched resolution and to answer this question it really comes down to personal preference in a way because some players like Lecce prefer a slightly stretched resolution like 1780 by 1080 this resolution right here is actually so close to native so there's not much um, loss in terms of FOV and the quality of the pixels is still quite high in HD because the pixel count isn't too far off 1920 by 1080 but you do still get those extra benefits of stretched resolution such as a slight FPS boost the lower input delay and the slightly bigger player models. Whereas if you look at other players like Martos for example, he prefers a much more stretched resolution. Uh, for example, he's recently been playing with 1680 by 1080 or 1550 by 1080. When you take a look at either one of these stretched resolutions, you can see that they are clearly more stretched in a way where the quality has been worsened as the pixel count is a lot lower than it is on 1920 by 1080 native. And as well as that, the FOV has been worsened as well because it is more stretched but on the other hand the advantages of it are clearly increased so with the lower pixel count you'll be getting much more fps the fps boost will be a lot larger and as well as that the player models as well will look a lot more bigger and a lot more stretched as the pixel count is a lot more lower and that equals to the game being a lot more stretched so overall if you take a look at the advantages versus the disadvantages here for martos it clearly is worth it for him or he really wouldn't be using it however for yourselves watching this um, the best stretch resolution for you may be something completely different to what these two players are using for example and because of that I'm going to go ahead and list the most popular slash best resolutions to use right now in Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 3. The first for you are the ones that are closest to 1920 by 1080 so you'll not get too much of a change. Uh, the first one is 1820 by 1080, the second one is 1780 by 1080 and the third one is 1720 by 1080. Uh, moving on, we're actually going to go a lot more stretched, just as where you'll see a more significant change. Uh, we've got 1680 by 1080, 1656 by 1080, and then on the lower side here, this is way more stretched. We've got 1550 by 1080 and 1350 by 1082. I'll also throw in a picture on screen right now where in previous seasons of the game, these resolutions on screen have been super popular in terms of FPS boosts and just popularity over were popular back then these could benefit you as well. Oh, in addition as well, I want to give a bonus mention to a super stretched res that Martos himself has actually been recently playing with on his YouTube channel. That resolution is 1280 by 1080. And when I look at this gameplay right here, this stretched resolution um, reminds me of the old stretched res, you know when it was like truly OP and literally everyone was using it. It so reminds me of that and he's been using it on his YouTube channel, which I'll leave a link to in the description below so you can check it out for yourselves. He's actually playing insanely well on it. But yeah, now that you've hopefully picked a stretched resolution that you like the look of, let me now show you how to set it up. So first things first, on your desktop, press the Windows key plus R. Inside the run box, type in percentage sign local update a percentage sign, then press OK. Then inside the local folder, you want to find the Fortnite game, give that an open. You then want to go into saved then go into config and then go into the Windows client and here you'll see your Fortnite config. By the way, you can update it and make sure it's all good to go by watching this video on screen. It's the best game user settings uh, for the config. But back to the config itself, before you open it, make sure we right click on it, go into properties and make sure the read only box is unchecked, then press OK, then head into it by editing it like so. And then if you scroll down to the bottom, you should see two sections come up soon 
that actually had the base default 1920 by 1080 resolution there's two in total now you can manually change these or you can do a little shortcut which is control plus h and this will actually open up the replace box and this will just make the whole process so much easier just find the default resolution uh, the x first and then replace it with your desired res and that will automatically change it you can do the same as well with the y if you do want to change that but once you've done that make sure to save it then after that, make sure to go back into its properties and check that read-only box, as this will prevent the game from automatically resetting the stretched res. After that, you can go ahead and go back to your desktop and open up your NVIDIA or AMD control panel. I myself am using NVIDIA, so I'm going to open up that. I'm then going to go over to adjust desktop size and position, select the full screen option right here, and then perform scaling, I want that to be on GPU, like so. After that, I'm going to head over to change resolution, and this is where I'm going to add my custom resolution, or where you can add yours. Just go ahead, click on customize, and then create a custom resolution, put the one in that you desire to use. It's pretty straightforward to set up from here. Click apply, then after that, you can go back over to 1920 by 1080, just select it back in your NVIDIA or AMD control panel, and now when you open up the game, you will get a stretched resolution. You can see here that it works in-game, obviously got the stretched resolution, and um, it works on the main menu, and then in-game as well. So you are all good to go after that. And quickly, if you don't like it, and you want to revert back, you can do it simply, by heading back into the game config itself and actually setting it back to 1920 by 1080 and that'll take you back to 1920 by 1080 native but that right there has been a quick tutorial on how to find the best stretched resolution for you there's many that are great um like i mentioned the martos one is fantastic or the lecce one is great too or you could still use 1920 by 1080 it's not a problem if you want to revert back if these aren't for you either but overall i hope i did help you find the best stretched resolution and as well as that i also explained how to go ahead and set it up for yourselves as well as revert back to if you do want that if a video helped out though feel free to drop a like on it subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and then also feel free to use my code in the item shop when you do pick up any of these awesome skins or when you do buy that brand new battle pass that helped me out a ton anyway that's all i've got for now be sure to check out any of my other videos on screen catch us in the next one peace